for Hebrew Israelites, we're supposed to keep the commandments to the best of our ability. And he was basically he was a bounce step. We're not concerned about the exact date. We're concerned about the, the signs, okay? And if we're going to be saved or not. That's what we're concerned about. All right? not, not the date. The date coming. That's irrelevant. All right? You know, Ameri you know, America's Babylon and Babylon's going to be destroyed. So what our job is, is to uh, the, the first uh, believe, worship the, house, the Lord and the Son, you know, uh, in faith and in, in the spirit, okay? Keep his commandments to the best of our ability and prophesy of the destruction of America. And that's our job, okay? And to raise, raise up the tribes of Israel. God, we have, our job is, uh, is, is, is a multitude, a plethora of things that we have to do. We have to teach the scriptures, all right? Teach, teach our people who they are according to the scriptures. Teach, teach, teach the other nations who they are according to reason. the scriptures. This is uh, 2 Peter 3 and 10. But the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night, in the which the heavens shall pass away with a great noise, and the elements shall yeah. melt with fervent heat. Yeah, America's going to be destroyed. Okay, so we know, we know uh, it's an end. This, this uh, country is temporary. This world that the so-called white man runs is temporary. Meaning it's, it's, meaning it's temporary. So we know, so we know that these things are going to come to an end. The thing that we're supposed to do is, is uh, keep the Lord's commandments. Okay, oh, have, have faith in Yahweh by Shemuel Shah. You know they got a show yep. on Showtime. Says, it says, says the earth also and the works that are therein shall be burned up. Seeing then that all these Bullshit. things shall be dissolved, yep. what manner of persons are ye to be in on all holy conversation and godliness? Yeah, holy conversation yeah, and godliness. Yeah, they got a show on Showtime about the boys. Yeah, 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 basically, yeah, yeah, they're a uh, family that yeah. lived in the uh, late uh, 1400s, early 1500s. They got a show on cable about them. Yeah, show on the boys. Yeah, show on the boys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, Showtime. Uh, show we'll get that really deep into it. I saw a couple episodes. Yeah, that, that's basically Cheshire and Boys here. He, he posed for a new image of the world. Yeah, but do they really get that deep into all that? I don't think they got to that. Part, part. I'm not sure. They might. They may have. I've seen them uh, paint uh, Lucretia in one of the episodes. But I don't think I've seen them painting uh, Jezebel. But you know. But but eventually, if they if they stick to the to the, the real what, what really happened, they should show them uh, uh, Leonardo uh, da Vinci and Michelangelo paint uh, Jezebel Borgia to be the uh, to uh, basically cover the Howard Shaw's face, so painting him to be the Lord. Did right? I ask you a question? Did you ever see that show called on History Channel called Ancient Aliens? Ancient Aliens, sure, on the Ancient History Channel. I, I believe I've seen something similar to them. What's the point? Well, what do you, what's your view on that? Well, well, the aliens, they're, they're, they're not bug-eyed creatures. Yeah. All right, they're angels. Get the angels? They're talking about the brain. Right. They're not an angel, they're actual angels. Okay, they're not bug-eyed aliens. Okay, they're actual angels. But the so-called white man, he, he he makes the act, the pictures that he shows us on TV, they actually demons. Like the blues and the grays. Yeah, and those, those are demons. Those aren't angels, right? Those are demons that they uh, that they see when they when they drink blood and they pray to Bafo Met. Those are demons that they see when, when they when they get close to the Satan. Like the Obamas when they make uh, the yeah. Bafo Met sign. Yeah, that's the man, man, man on the north though. Okay, the hand horn. All right, but the angels that that are in outer space, the actual aliens that that they, that the, uh, the astronauts come in contact with. That the, 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 the sites that they see and stuff like that, those are actually the angels that are, that are in those ships, okay? And they take they take different forms, all right? They can take the form of a beast, okay? Or they can take the form of, uh, of a man, okay? And they travel in uh, uh, similar uh, vehicles like that. I'll be honest. Yeah, I got a script. Yeah. They, they can be like a six shape like cigarette. The, Ezekiel, what he said, they have the wheels, the wheel within things. a wheel. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yep. Yeah, and uh, just to make a quick uh, 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 point on that, you have a song by the group named Journey, and they talk about that wheel in the sky keeps on turning. You know what they're what they're talking about is a chariot or uh, or an angel or what the so-called white man calls it a, a UFO. Yeah, but it's not bug-eyed aliens in those ships. Right. Okay. The actual uh, so-called uh, black men in those ships. All right, dark-skinned men with woolly hair. Yeah. All right. If I can say something real quick. Another point on uh, this movie called Live Live Hard or Die Hard or something like that, 2009. And the supposed that angels, they said that they talked about it in the heaven spaceships that brought us here. So they know that there's sp actual spaceships that the, that the, uh, that yeah, the, the angels traveled. They're supposed to be coming out with a movie oh, called Pacific Rim. Pacific Rim? I hear about it. Let's talk about how they got under. Uh, uh, bases underwater and how they got bases underwater. Like, how you think how they talk about the Bermuda Triangle and. Bermuda Triangle? And the Bermuda Triangle is actually a Bermuda Triangle. Bermuda Triangle. Bermuda Triangle. UFOs really cherry is Israel. So you gonna make it like there's like a Well they're saying 
in the underwater and they, they, they got bases on the water. Right. So you got the terrorism going on the too. Yeah, they, but the, so the white man don't have no power on them, okay? They're spiritual vehicles, okay? They're not mechanical. So all the aliens is black, black basically. Yeah, they're, what, they're Israelites, right? So what do they come over with? Blue? What do they come up with? The grays and the. Well, that, that's misinformation. What about the reptilians? Well, that, that's misinformation. That's, yeah, that's yeah. Don't, don't, if, if any reptilians exist, they're demons, right? They're demons. They're not, you don't have people walking around as reptiles, really, in, in human skin. That, that don't exist. Right? Like they say, shape, shape, they're, they're beast, they Yeah, they're, they're beasts like men, meaning they don't have the commandments of the Lord. So they're beasts on that level. But they have you know, hearts, livers, lungs, you know, skin. They don't have reptilian inner parts. It's going, right? it's going back to the, uh, the serpent in the garden. Right. Because that, that serpent was yeah. a reptilian. That, that, that was the actual man, okay? That wasn't yeah, a snake. Yeah, Nakash or Whisper. No, that, that was a, that was actual man. That, that that's the, that's what we call a white man. White man's a devil. White man's a serpent. White man's a beast man. Alright? It's not an actual serpent. You see beast master? Oh, what was that white tree man? that they were talking about? The tree of life and a tree of. But well, that was that was understanding. That was, that, that was un, un, understanding. Good good and evil. Because uh, ancient El and that, that series called ancient aliens. I don't know if you watched it. I yeah, watched it. I think I've seen it. I think I've seen it before. Yeah, but that's that's, that's it mostly down. BS. That's mostly BS. You gonna bring scripts? I got a few. This is uh, Psalm 68, verse 17. Mm -hmm. The chariots of God are 20,000, even thousands of angels. The Lord is among them, as in Sinai, in the holy place. Yeah, the chariots of the Most High. The chariots of the Most High basically unidentified. Well, we, we know what they are, so they're identified yeah. flying objects. They can come in any form. They can be the shape, shape of a cigarette, you know? They can stretch across the sky. They can be real small. Or it can be the shape of a sphere. It's high, high technology. Yeah. Exactly, yeah. It's spiritual, spiritual technology. So, can I ask this one question? And this is going to the afterlife. What happens to the afterlife? Like, when you pass, or somebody, your loved one pass, like, where do they, what's, where does they, where do they go? Cause it's where do like, they go and sit up, sit up, but all the spirits that are on earth, they go, go back up to the most high. The, the, so the white man and the other nation, they go on the left side. And, uh, yeah, so is there reincarnation? Yeah, reincarnation exists, yeah. So the we, spirit, we, we live in past lives. Exactly, yeah. From the beginning, from the garden. Right yeah, from the garden of Eden, yeah. So when we die, we basically reincarnated again. Then we go back to the spirit world. Right. And then the Lord in the third and fourth oh, yeah, generation, the Lord puts us back down in the body. Got a quick reset. Yeah, through your father's line. Got a quick reset. This, this is uh, Second Ezra 14 and 35. For after death shall the judgment come when we shall live again. Read that again. Quote scripture. This is Second Ezra 14 and 35. For after death shall the judgment come. After you die, go ahead. Shall the judgment come. Shall the judgment come, go ahead. When we shall live again. And then shall the names of the righteous be manifest, and the works of the ungodly shall be declared. Yeah, so all the elect are going to be back in the same stead, you know. The elect that were prophets in the past, that were uh, righteous men in the past. In the future, they're going to be uh, prophets, you know, teachers, and righteous we, men in the we future. See, will we ever see our relatives that died again? Yeah, we're going to speak. Like our grandmothers yeah, and our mothers gonna, and people. Yeah, but you're not going to... Yeah, Khan. No. But, but on, on this on this side, you ain't gonna you gonna acknowledge that. As a matter of fact, I got a preset for that. Yeah, that's not really that's not really a concern you should, you should have. Yeah, really, uh, you should be concerned about salvation for yourself. Well, right? I understand that, but this, what we see how we're gonna, gonna, gonna see everybody. I got a preset. Gonna see everybody. I got a preset. This everybody. Is, this is wisdom of Solomon two and two, for we are born at all adventure, and we shall be hereafter as though we had never been. Yeah, I mean we're not gonna have any remembrance of our past life. Uh, okay, right? we're gonna have no yep. remembrance. It says, for we are born at all adventure, and we shall be here after as though we had never been. For the breath in our nostrils is as smoke and, as, and a little spark in the movement of our heart. Which being extinguished, our body shall be turned into ashes, and our spirit shall vanish as the soft air. Decompose, okay, and your yeah, spirit goes to the Father. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Ecclesiastes 12. Yeah. You got that? You got something? Yeah, that's yeah. your brown. And what we Ecclesiastes, back. Yeah. spirit will back. Yep. Ecclesiastes. 4 and 16, there is no end of all the people, mm, even of them that have been before them. They also that come after shall not rejoice in him. There is no end of all the people, okay? So that means nobody has put, put out of existence. All right, right. All, all the flesh, the spirits, all the spirits go back up out of the flesh and then reincarnate into new bodies on the, on the planet. Uh, okay. That's how we do that. Okay, because they're trying to say that the Buddhists came up with that. And no, the, the, yeah. Lord, the Most High came up with that. That, that, that's 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 to you how much my shots for me. So go well, God and Jesus Christ. I'm sorry, I'm asking too many questions. Oh, you right. yeah, you behave yourself very well. Uh, uh, you 
This is uh, 2 Nazareth 7 verse uh, 55. And that the faces of them which have used abstinence, it's talking about the elect, shall shine above the stars, whereas our faces shall be blackened in darkness. For while we live and commit in the Yeah, meaning that abstinence means we're, uh, we're, 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 we're spiritual virgins. Meaning that we're not worshiping idols, we're not worshiping the gods of other nations. Okay? And the Lord is justifying us through faith. Right? And we're establishing the law through faith. It says, for while we live and committed iniquity, we can this, this is the wicked. These are the people that aren't uh, keeping the commandments of the Lord. So they live in iniquity, meaning sin on top of sin on top of sin. Alright? For well, while we live and committed iniquity, we consider it not that we shall begin to suffer for it after death. Okay, a little bit. So, because the no, young godly, whether it be a... Uh, I don't know if you like to feel any pain right here. Israelite or uh, uh, someone of another nation, they were wicked all their life, and they, they didn't realize that there was a punishment for being wicked on the earth, in the flesh. Right. Huh? So you live out your, uh, your judgment in the future, That's right. in the new body. So when you say that, why, that when they die, they go on the left side, meaning what? Meaning that, the, uh, this is basically, the, uh, the so-called white man has a different uh, a spiritual uh, realm than the Israelites. Well, I know it's like, I watched a show called, like, you know how they had the bull stories, and they talk about blacks, it seems like it's only whites that have that experience of dealing with negative spirits and spirits trying to haunt them. Yeah, but we, we, we all had those experiences. Yeah. Well, yeah. For blacks having the spirit, they say, well, it was either a relative, is this a positive Oh, yeah, like a demon or something, well, because he's all more acquainted you know, with, with the devil. Okay, he's like, more, he's more you know, acquainted with the celebrity, celebrity, celebrity ghost stories. It's yeah, always the blacks. They, they, they worship demons, you know that? It's celebrity. A celebrity they, they, they pray to demons. Well, the black ones, they, yeah. well, they always, all do. They all do. All it's do. always a relative. There's always somebody that motivated them, inspired them. But it's always the white ones that they, they had haunted horses and all that. Haunted horses. You ain't never had no black man living in a haunted house. <laughs> Oh, like yeah, well, you know, Esau is obsessed with that, yeah. you know, because like, his father is the spirit of demon like, Satan. Amity, Bill Horner, and all that. But blacks, have, the, the blacks that have those encounters don't have that experience. Like, it's even a relative that came back and, and shit so all over the Yeah, come <laughs> I've experienced demons, man. When I first came into the truth, I actually seen dark figures, man. And like, try to, like, basically, like, fly over me. Walk I in. seen this. Walk and basically, I got all, like, messed up. Like basically woozy, man. I was praying my damn, oh, oh, oh. my damn ass off to the Lord to to, to rebuke hey, them hey, demons, man. Uh, I'm an Ephraimite. <laughs> I'm an Ephraimite. So what, 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 what was Puerto Rico called, called before that? What was Puerto Rico called before it's called Puerto Rico? That uh, I believe it's called a uh, body queen. So I'm pronouncing where, where, where it right. Where did they come from? Which basically yeah. means the land of a noble lord. What's, okay. what, 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 now what's, they, what's their story? Where did they come from? What, where did the so-called Puerto Ricans come yeah. from? Well, basically, you have in uh, the book of Ezra that tells you about the ten tribes that came over from uh, the Assyrian captivity to the Americas to escape that captivity. And, then, and there they were. Okay. And then the so-called white man, or the conquistadores, yeah, you know, you had yeah, yeah. Uh, Hernan well, Cortez, you had right Christopher there. Columbus. Yeah. He came over here and started enslaving them. And that was even before the yeah, Atlantic well, I know that slave trade. That was always, then you had the Vikings that they said came over. They came, okay, the Vikings, well, allegedly, the Vikings. Fun. But, you know, that, that's where they came from, okay? Okay. It's in Isaiah, Isaiah 22 and 17. It says, Behold, the Lord the Vikings will carry thee black. away with a mighty captivity. He will surely cover thee. He will surely violently turn and toss thee like a ball into a large country, and there thou shalt die. And there shalt thou die. So we were taken to America, okay? We were taken to America. And then that so called white man came over. He enslaved the, the Native Americans. He enslaved. Uh, the so-called Puerto Ricans. He enslaved all the Latin tribes, okay? Reuben, which are the Seminole Indians. Yeah, there you go. See, we got it right there. And get a, get me a, e, jo, Judah, and eat uh, uh, Okay, good. Give me that. All right, all right. it's uh, Hosea 9 and 13. Ephraim, as I saw at Tyrus, is planted in a pleasant place. But Ephraim shall bring forth his children to the murderers. Mm -hmm. But Ephraim shall what? Read that again. Eph uh, Hosea 9 and 13. Ephraim, as so I saw So that pleasant place is America, okay? That pleasant place is America. Okay, because this was a 